What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 3 of my Outlast Let's Play series. Uh, if you haven't yet watched the previous two episodes, go ahead and watch those. I'll link them right up above. It's been a ton of fun. This game has been really great so far, be it very fucking terrifying. Even though horror is my favorite genre, I'm still a jumpy little bitch. So... Hopefully that makes these videos somewhat enjoyable for you guys. Anyway, I got it booted up right here. Let's go ahead and get right back into it. Continue in three, two. This has been a trip so far. Like, it's it's been an experience for sure. But I've been enjoying it. I genuinely have. It's It's been... It's been something. All right, we are back in this prison. And I was having trouble figuring out what I was supposed to do last time. So, let's see. I documented all of this, like, on my camcorder. And I took notes and everything. The cat's away. Okay. Don't like the sound of that. Stop trying to grab me, bruh. This guy's scaring me. I feel like he's gonna try to grab me. <laughs> Alright, I really do need to figure out what I'm supposed to do. It's gotta be something. I'm gonna close my blinds really quick. It's like putting a weird glare on the TV. Back into it. Alright. Well, now it's just really fucking dark. Yeah, it's all locked. So I'm not missing any, any of that. I guess we can head back down. Head back downstairs, keep looking around. Okay, close that guy in there. I feel like these two guys were talking about killing me. And then there's that text right there on the wall that I read in the last playthrough that tells me like I'm supposed to follow the blood. <laughs> so I'm just Okay, is it this guy that I'm supposed to... Tell you it's it's like he ran in there and then he's gone. <laughs> God, the same jump scare happened last time. In the last episode. Alright, so what's going on with this guy? This is uncomfortably close. Okay. Hi. Guys... <laughs> This game is crazy. So he's gonna run out of there again. Cause he keeps running out of there and then I'm never there to... Do I just have to wait for him? And then I gotta go in there? I don't know. I, I, I don't wanna look up what I'm supposed to do. So... We're just gonna figure it out together I guess. But I have a feeling that guy's gonna try to attack me. Bro, you gotta stop banging your head. Oh, doesn't that make it so much more terrifying? Piping. Okay. Yeah, I've already been in here. Like. I literally explored this entire era area in the last episode. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. That guy's still just chilling out the window. I thought that guy was gonna jump scare me. He never did. Like, there's nothing- oh my god. There's nothing happening to suggest what I should do. Are you fucking kidding me? Did I really just miss this last time? What the fuck? 
I keep just at the start of every episode. I always regret can, like deciding to continue playing the game because I know I'm gonna get jump scared. Oh my God, are they eating? You're sick. I'm sick? Looks like you're eating a corpse, man. I'm pretty sure you're the one who's sick. A naked corpse at that. Fucking necrophile over here. <laughs> I'm gonna get demonetized. I say that as if I'm monetized in the first place. Alright, let's... Hello? I... Okay. Bro, the imagery is so creepy. Like, that's just a creepy image right there. Alright. Don't want to use all my battery. Alright, so this... I mean, obviously this was an official prison, but seeing the prison guard sort of changes the perspective of it. I keep forgetting that I still have the camera out when I don't have the night vision on, and so I hit the button to get it out again and just ends up putting it away. Oh, those guys who said they wanted to kill me, um, they're gone. That's great. Yeah, I'm gonna film this whole thing. It might be important, I'm not sure. <sighs> guys, I'm not ready for the jump scares. There's actually been less jump scares than I thought there'd be. I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I saved some for you. Mm, just wait. Oh. You saved some for me? That, the voice actor playing that one guy who was just talking, he sounds like one of the voice actors from a character in Beastars, which, yes, I still love, by the way. I know it's been, like, a couple years since I made that hour-and-a-half-long video on the first season, but still love, still my favorite anime, fight me. Okay, so this is still, like, a functional, like, upper... Ooh, wait. I kind of like the walls in here. That's cool. <laughs> God, it is so dark. They are literally forcing me to... I feel like I should close this behind me just in case. Okay. So we're in cell block A. I'm really surprised that there isn't an Outlast movie. I am right about that, right? There isn't an Outlast movie. Hey, bud. How you doing? Is he licking the blood off the wall? I'm gonna try to close it, see if he... No. He's gonna jump at me, guys. I know he is. Well, since I know it's gonna happen, let me just run at him. No? He's going to. Got a document. Let's see what it says. All right. From Murkoff Corp to Granat. I still don't know how to say that lady's name. <laughs> All right. Helen. Dr. Zeichner gave me your info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Archambond. Guys, I don't hear that guy talking anymore. Is that a bad sign? Anyway. Uh, Martin Archambond has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the week since canceling the arts program, his schizo schizoaffective assertions, ass assertions of some higher calling have of some higher calling, need to emphasize that, have accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapin. So they're, they were encouraging him to like finger paint with blood, I'm assuming. The few, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise Dr. Neil Warfront. Dude, this whole situation is so fucked. I mean, he doesn't look good at all. You know, they kind of look like the, the creatures from The Descent. Those, like, humanoid things. Anything over here? Alright, just gotta jump down to this creepy hole. That's cool. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to go in there. Let me change my batteries really quick. But before I do that, let us look around. What is going on? Oh! Oh, that guy's gonna want to kill me. Let's get out of here. Goodbye. Let's head in here. Let me close this door. Okay, so there was like a prison... Yeah, I've, I've sort of picked up on that. That's fucked up. Alright, so I'm able to hide in here. So clearly, there's going to be somebody that I'm going to have to hide from. Wow, aren't I such a fucking genius. Usually when there's places to hide, it means you're probably going to have to hide. Alright, what do I have to do in here, though? Did I have to do something at the computer and I just missed it? Can I let this guy out? No? No? Alright, let's go into this cell. Let's see. I hate that it's so dark to the point where I, I literally have no choice but to use. And there, even though there's light in the room. Let's see. Oh, extra battery. Can always use an extra battery. That's good. I guess I'm going to have to go back out there and face that guy. I really wish there was some way for me to fight. I really do. That would be nice. Though I know, like, the whole point of the game is that there's no point in trying to fight. You just gotta hide. Which does, you know, make it scarier. Okay, so that guy's still in there. He's gonna stay out of sight. Why would he be trying to kill me, though? I don't work for the prison. Hello? Oh, he's waiting. Fuck that. He's waiting for me, bruh. I really don't want to die. I'm just gonna run. <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, so I just can't go in there. Okay, I'll stay quiet. That's fine. I'll stay quiet. I won't mess with you, bruh. We're, we're cool. We're chill. Just butcher, butcher your prison guards, man. Just do your thing. Don't let me tell you how to live. All right. I'm not sure if my last gameplay recording caught the entirety of what just happened, but just in case it didn't, I was chased by that guy, and I hid in the locker. That's basically it. Do I just need to run past him? Is that like my only, my only hope? Or like the only thing I can do? Is this guy still in there? Yep. This guy's not chasing me though. He just doesn't want me to go in there. And that's okay. I won't. So that's where that other guy was, so I don't want to go back in there. I mean, I know I probably have to, but I'm going to peek around this corner first. Okay. If he just went right back in there, then I'm just going to have to run and hide again. Well, now it's locked. Great. Oh, 
Oh wait, he's not in here. Okay. Can I lock it? Because there's like... Is that not a lock? Okay, it's not. Let's see. Alright, so there are lockers in here, so that's good. Activate airlock. Follow the blood. What, so... It, I gotta go back in... The elevator? I feel like as soon as I open that door, that guy's gonna be right back there. He's back. I gotta run. Sorry, guy. Oh, that's how I got the guy. Okay, that's how I got him out of here. Cool. Do I want to be in here? Is this how I get to the airlock? My controller is vibrating. Fuck. There's nowhere to hide in here. Okay. Fuck. You don't see me. You do not see me. Is he gone? Okay. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Guys, this is so intense. <laughs> How do I get to the airlock? Is it just the same one I was in before? Oh. The game forces you to go everywhere that the enemies go like not just into areas where there are enemies naturally spawned but it forces you to have to follow them like they just so happen to also be taking the same paths that you have to take okay we're making progress we're making progress again it's really hard for me I mean I I'm having fun but it's hard for me to fully like enjoy the experience of playing this game because it, it's like it is fun yes but it's sort of like robert the, the way i enjoy a robert eggers movie where it's like i don't enjoy watching it but like i do you know like it's horror but it's not like ooh fun horror you know like things like scream or the babysitter you know shit like that this is more like, this is really fucking disturbing. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are naked. But now, now, now we indulge. Yeah. So now you're going to try to kill me. Okay. That's... That's great. Um, I would rather not die, though. Why don't you just stab me through the bars, dude? If you want to kill me, just stab me through the bars. I don't want to be killed by two naked men. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh shit, no, no. They're gonna get me through this window, I know it, I'm backing up. They're gonna break the glass. Or they're gonna come through this glass. And I'm gonna have to run. Now they're gone! Guys. Fuck off. Where the fuck did they go? <laughs> I feel like each episode, it just gets more and more stressful. Just more and more intense. This is crazy. That last episode was long. Sorry for going so long in the last one. Alright, so there's nothing in here. Active. I don't want to go in there just yet. I'm supposed to follow the blood. The showers? There's going to be some fucked up shit in here. You already know. There were probably a bunch of prisoners killed while taking showers. Door needs a key card. Is there a key, a key card on this prison guard body? Can I go through here? No. Okay, so I guess I do got to go into the airlock. Where could they possibly have gone? Like, I get that it's creepy for them to disappear a bunch, but where logically could they have gone? Here come the jump scares. Oh, fuck. Shit. I don't fuck with that. There's a key card. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna run. I'm running. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's probably the dumb thing to do. Gonna get jump scared. I know it. Did that guy, like, rip off the other guy's head? Is that what happened there? Did I see that right? Let me change this battery. New objective, exit through the showers. Okay. Guys, the outside is right there. It's so close. That makes me just feel ten times more terrible. Ah! Fuck! My God. Out through the window. I'm surprised I realized that I could do that so quickly. Dude, you're outside now. If you end up back in this building, you're just an idiot. I'm sorry. I would rather you not slip my belly open. Dude, you should have just dropped out there. On, I mean, it was probably too high. But I feel like I'm just back where I started. <sighs> Am I gonna have to go through and blur the naked men? Is it shown in enough detail? Cause guys, blurring on YouTube is such a pain in the ass. I guess sensor- oh! Well... That is, um, that's not something you want to see. <laughs> and I have a feeling I'm going to end up in that chair and have to escape. That's great. Let me look around before I read that file. Just want to. Now, this is a prison. So, and this kind of looks like an electric chair, but I don't see any wires around. So, I assume it's just a torture chair. That's great. That's so lovely. 
Y'all, I'm loading up on batteries. This is great. Right, let's pick up this document. See what it says. This is a death certificate. Please find attached copy of the death certificate for Rudolf G. Wernick. Is it Wernick or Wernicke? Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, subcontractor number 148616, no surviving family. Uh, sorry. State of Colorado. The fact that this still takes place in the state in which I was born, like basically my home state, even though I only lived there until I was like three or four. Still, though, I don't like seeing Colorado. I don't, I don't like seeing such a terrifying place in Colorado. It's going to make me never want to go back to my, my birth state. All right. State of Colorado. Holds a light to view watermark. File number 8732. Place Colorado. Yes, we already established that. Town or city. You know, I, I'm, I'm not even going to... Not even going to read all of this useless information. I'm sure it's not useless. Let's just focus on the information about the patient. All right. Let's see. Full name. Rudolf Gustav Wernicke. Length of residence in city or town where death occurred. Zero years, seven months. How long in U.S. if a foreign birth? 55 years. Sex, male, color or race, white, single, married, widowed, or divorced. White, write the word, single. Date of birth, October 20th, 1918. Holy shit. Birthplace, Germany. Date of death, February 28th, 2009. Oh, he, he lived a long life. Lived a pretty long life. What? The, what is that? Like 90... Guys, I'm so bad at math and I don't want to embarrass myself. Um... No, but, I mean, that's got to be, like, 100 years would be 2018, so minus 10, that would be 9. So he lived to be 89, about 89, all right. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from June 4th, 2003 to February 28th, 2009, that I saw him alive on February 27th, 2009, that death occurred on the date stated above at 4.11 a.m., the principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows. Heart, fa uh, heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official record. Really? Let's see the official record, because I doubt that this is in any way accurate, if I've been able to infer anything thus far from reading other documents around this facility. It's actually crazy how massive this building is, though. All right, so I'm going to have to go back out there. Oh, my God. The way you can just hear, like, screaming in the distance. It's so fucked up. This is a fucked up game, dude. Like, playing it makes for entertaining content, I am sure. And it is fun to play. Like, the gameplay's good, the mechanics are good, and it's very, very good at achieving the tone it wants to achieve. But it's it's really intense, dude. And normally, that's, like, right up my alley. My, uh, my alley, and it is. Like I said, I'm having a good time playing this game. But it's, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has a limit. And this doesn't break it. This, I know I don't. I know it seem like I'm not making any sense. I'm, I'm just saying that I'm. This is all an excuse for me to just not say what I am. What is actually true, which is I'm just scared shitless right now, and I'm a fucking coward, and I want to stop playing this because I'm scared like a six-year-old child. Oh fuck! Oh shit! God, he's gonna get me. There's nowhere to fucking go. Okay. Okay, I just gotta... Can I, like, vault over? No. Ah! No, 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 no. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Fuck. God damn it. Guys, what am I supposed to do? Like, for real. Oh shit, there's a vent. Okay, okay. Okay, I didn't even see that. He 
He's still gonna find a way through. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a death animation or is it part of the- Okay, it's part of the game, it looks like. Oh! Oh, that sucks, my dude. I'm so sorry. Jeez. Guys, this game is so... This is fucking horrifying. Find an alternate path to the showers. And of course, I'm in complete darkness. This is why they were throwing batteries at me. Because this area doesn't have any light whatsoever. These are like the lower... That is just such a disturbing image, dude. This reminds me of the prison in... Um, season 3 of The Walking Dead. Alright, we're gonna hide. Will he see the light from my camera? I hope not. I mean, I guess we're about to find out. How did he get down here so fast? I mean, he might have just taken the same route that I took. Hi, bruh. How you doing? Dude, the voice actor for Miles is so is like so good. And he doesn't speak like verbally really at all in the game. In fact, he hasn't yet. He's only been screaming and breathing, but it's so effective. Like he sounds so genuinely horrified. I imagine it on average takes people quite a while to get through this game. Hey, he's coming back. Just gotta hide again, dude. He's just gonna take the same route over and over again, isn't he? I'm just I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go alright. Let's change the battery. Don't see me. The sound design is incredible too, by the way. Just throwing that out there. No, you don't see me. God, dude. It's fucking terrifying. All right, here's some stairs. I honestly think, like, overall playing this game is actually good for me. It gets my adrenaline pumping. Let me guess, this is fucking locked. Yep. If he comes up those stairs, I swear to God. No, 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 no. Guys, oh my god, holy shit, oh my god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Guys, I I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to... God. Lord, have mercy on me, please. I don't even believe in God, but Jesus Christ, if you exist, have mercy on me right here, right now, in this moment, please. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leaving you. I'm sorry for losing my faith. I'm sorry that I was abused in the church and decided to not okay I feel like I'm going a little far I mean that did happen but it's not relevant to the game I just need to get out of here I spitball when I'm scared okay ah! fuck bro why did you do that like actually what was the point of that that was literally just to jump scare me or maybe he heard me coming and he needed to peek around because he was curious okay Okay, I know that's the main place I probably need to go into for the game's purposes, but still got to look around a little bit. All right. I don't like how he keeps calling me little pig. Hi. Am I your friend? I don't know. You're kind of creepy, bruh. You want to help me? I could use some help. You have an itch? I'm not gonna itch you, bro. Why are you just following me around? I would like for you to stop. Can I close this, by the way? Okay. I like being able to close everything behind me. Hi. They all have very similar damage to their face, so... I'm just curious what specifically physically has happened to these people. If it's really a cult and it's more of a religious and spiritual thing. Alright, what do I do and where do I go? Looks like this guy fell. Is there somewhere I can go? See, there's stairs. Where do the stairs start? Do I climb up on this thing? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. See, I, I do want to help these people, but they're so far gone, I feel like they'd actually just kill me. Okay. Again. Oh, God. I, my last battery is almost gone. I really need to start only... Ah! Damn, bro. I should have seen that coming. I really should have. Alright. Well, it cuts off. So, let's see here. How do I get to that part? Oh, wait. Oh, this guy's gonna grab me, though. Can I m jump? Okay, okay. Nice jump. There's another thing that says witness. In episode one, I think it was, there was a guy. Oh, hi. Hi, my dude. In episode one, there was a guy that I found dead in a bathroom, and it said blood witness was painted in blood above him as well. So, is it... I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps. He's gonna grab me. I know he is. Hey, bud. You, you, you wanna talk? Oh, you're one of the scarier looking ones. Once the dictionary came in, you would think it was magic. And that if you showed modern magic, you would think it was technology. Ooh, wait, that's actually kind of a good quote. Ew, is there actual shit in the toy? Bro. The fact that somebody sat there for hours animating shit in a toilet is really funny to me. Alright, what do we got? Dr. Wernicke obituary. Obituary from some random link. Rudolph G. Wernicke. Dr. Rudolph G. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. R the Alan Turing? Like, Turing test? Like, that guy? 
After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los, Lo, uh, Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. He leaves no survi- Bro, these people- are so fucked in the head i swear all right let's let's actually break down some of this information here and it might be a good place to to end the episode on um so let's see he was born in germany in 1918 let's see after a cloudy history with the german war effort so was this guy a nazi look i'm not a historian so like if i'm getting certain facts wrong please feel free to let me know just be nice about it but it seems like that that's what this is implying and and now that i'm thinking about it this you know the, the whole concept of the game like you know holding innocent people in prisons and performing horrific experiments on them kind of seems like something he would have picked up from the nazis anyway um several decades of government research in los alamos now correct me if i'm wrong but wasn't los alamos where the the Oppenheimer, you guys know what I'm trying to say, led to New Mexico, where, yeah. And care for his cats. Pursuit of charitable work for the Murkoff Corporate. Man, he did not kill his enemies. He didn't kill his enemies? Okay, so he killed his friends, I assume. That's what we're getting at here. Another airlock. Alright, up the stairs we go. I wish I didn't have to keep using my camera, but it's so dark. <laughs> it's like unnaturally dark. Ah! This guy's gonna grab me from behind. Ah! Keep going, keep going, keep going. I was waiting for it to happen. I knew it was going to. All right, I need my camera. Where did I end up? Where am I? Just in this cell? Oh. Oh, hey. He's gonna grab me, I know he is. Yeah. Okay. Man, these poor fucking people, dude. Hey man, your cell's open. You know you don't gotta stay in here, right? I imagine these people are just too fuck. Okay, well the battery's dying now. Great. I imagine these people are too far gone to even try to escape, even if they know they can. But even then, they can't really, because the actual main entrances and exits of the building are closed. Hello, dark basement that I'm probably gonna have to go into. I'm gonna go down to this huge blood puddle first bro there has to be like outlast haunted houses right or haunted houses inspired by outlast at least oh don't like this Oh, I don't like this, especially because my battery's about to die. Kindly go fuck yourself. <laughs> Whatever studio made this game. Kindly just fuck off and die. Which is exactly what the game is saying to Miles, so. I know I'm gonna get jump scared down here. And the music is so fucking- Oh, we're going even further down? Bro, why? I can't fucking see anything. I should have stopped it earlier when I said that it, it seemed like a good stopping point. But now I'm just like, we're going further down? Now I'm just like so deep into the shit that I just- 
Bro, if the stuff above ground was that bad, the stuff below ground is gonna be fucking insane. I'm waiting for the jump scare, guys. It's coming. I don't feel like screaming again. I really don't. Jeez, further and further down. Dude, where do you think this is gonna take you? You think it's gonna come out the other side? New objective, find a way out. Oh, we're in the sewers. Okay. Now, unfortunately, when I had to find images to put in the thumbnails for the first two, I did see an image of a guy chasing a guy, uh, like a guy chasing you in the sewer in this game. And um, I can probably use that image for the thumbnail for this video, but basically what I'm saying is, is I know I'm going to encounter something down here, so I can't actually feel any hope. Can I not go under? Oh, wait, I can vault over. Okay. So it's blocked off there. I guess the night vision still does me some favors. Like, I can still see more than I normally be able to. Alright. Why is it just loading now? What was that? That's how you know something is about to happen. What the fuck was that? Alright. I could end this on such a cliffhanger right now. But it's also very clear to me that we're about to enter like a new section of the game. So this, what we're about to see might be a good place to end. But what was that though? That looked like a, f a floating thing. I don't like the sounds. Don't like the sounds. At all. And we're going into complete darkness. Great. Not even the night vision is doing me many favors. I see a light. I'm just going to go toward the light. Just go toward the light. Seems right. Guys, I'm just bracing for every jump scare. Okay, it's automatically saving down there. New objective, flush the water by turning the two valves. Alright, we're gonna do that at the start of the next episode. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much as always for watching another episode of my Outlast Let's Play. It is... It's something. It's intense. This was probably the most intense episode yet. Um... That one guy, that, that big guy, that I assume he's a variant. Holy shit, dude. Is that what all of these people are eventually going to become? Or is he just, like, one specific guy that the experiment just went really bad with? Is he Billy? Is that who we're... There's, like, such a good mystery being built here. So, like, while the game is so fucking scary and it's, like, so intense and it's really getting to me, there's a mystery here that just keeps pulling me back in. Like, because I need to know the truth. I need to know what's going on exactly and I'm so invested in the game. I'm having so much fun playing it for you guys. And yeah, I'm super excited to do episode four. Now, I have to go take a final for one of my film classes. Uh, it's for a class called Tech Fundamentals of the Moving Image or Tech Foundations of the Moving Image. One of those two. It's, it's um, shortened as FDNTS on, on, my, uh, on my schedule. So who knows? Anyway, uh, I'm going to go do that. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. I will see you in the next video, and until then, keep writing, keep shooting, and keep editing.